Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying numbers in standard form. So we've got two numbers here, they're both in standard form and if you don't know what standard form is then please watch my videos on that first and we want to multiply them together. Now the easiest way to deal with this is to think this is just a multiplication of four things and we can multiply them in whatever order we like. So I advise multiplying the numbers in front of these powers of 10 first. So we could do the 3 times the 2 first because it's just one big multiplication. And the 3 times the 2 is 6. And then we've got these two things to multiply together. We've got 10 to the 7 times 10 to the 4. Now remember, when we multiply two powers together with the same base of 10 in this case, then we add the indices. So 7 plus 4 is 11, so it'd be 10 to 11. And this is great, this number is in standard form because this number is between 1 and 10. So we are done. What about b? Let's do the same thing again. We might as well do the 7 times the 6 first, which is 42. And you might have spotted a problem already, but we can fix that. And then we do the 10 to the 8 times the 10 to the 4, the two powers multiplied together. So we add the indices, 8 plus 4 is 12, so it's 10 to the 12. Now the problem here is that this is not in standard form because this number in the front is not between 1 and 10. So therefore, we could just divide this by 10 to make it be between 1 and 10. So the 42 now is 4.2. But I want this number here to be the same as that. So if I've divided the first number by 10, then to compensate, I have to make this 10 times bigger so that overall you end up with a number of the same value. So if I times this by 10, that's just going to increase the index by 1. It's 10 to the 13 because you have one extra 10 that you're multiplying together. And that's now in standard form because that's between 1 and 10 and we are done.